What's going on guys? It's your boy Jorito. Guys, we are out here at my boy Lynch Out of Work Shop. We have something very special and very different, man. I have a small 5x8 trailer and the lights need to get redone or rewired on them because none of them are working at this point. So we bought a kit. We also probably would be doing a quick review on the Universal Trailer Lighting Kit. We're gonna take you step by step on how to rewire your trailer. So it should be a pretty quick video for you guys. We're not gonna hold you guys up at all, man. We're gonna get straight to the point so you guys can see how this thing is done, man. So y'all stay tuned. And of course, big shout out to the sponsor, my boy Space City Buds. Thank you, my boy, for sponsoring this video, man. So the first tip, open up the box. What's all in there, bro? We got bulb tail lights, we got the side marker lights, we got lights play bracket, and of course your wiring set, all the nuts for the lights, electrical tie-ins, some clips for the wires, and then your handy dandy instructions. So what's the first step? This is, I don't have instructions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. We're gonna go ahead and take off the old lights. So we're gonna take, we're gonna replace these with the new ones. These still are on there, so we can just wire into those. You said those are eight millimeter? Yeah, this is eight millimeter. This okay. is a self-tapping type screw. So we'll just unbolt these. 12 millimeter. On the back ones? Yeah, on these back ones. It'd be good to keep these so you have a spare in case one breaks or something. So now I'm gonna cut the wires to the lights, and that way I could pull them through. I'm gonna cut these right here, like that, and then I'm gonna go back here and cut these. Same thing on that side. That way, if you ever need to have extra light, you got enough wire to be able to slice splice back in if you ever break one of the other ones. This one we're gonna reuse, and this splice thing right here. So I'll just cut it right there. What is that for? This is for the side marker light. Oh, okay. Because the kit only comes with two of them, so we'll replace these and reuse these. So this is how they have the wires ran through. That's the old wires. Yeah, this is the old wires right here. How you run? How do you run the new wires through? We'll start in the front and work our way back each side at a time. Okay. So these are the old ones coming out now. <clears throat> So you're literally just cutting all the old wires out. Yeah, we're gonna cut all the old stuff out and that way nothing's in the way and we're gonna run back with all the new stuff. Is there something you have to be careful not to cut? Nah, the trailer wires are only gonna be two on each side. So now, probably just dirt and debris stuck in here. A few moments later. Got it. it. Runs up underneath the neck of the trailer and it comes down right here. They got a little piping everywhere, which is kind of good because then you don't have to worry about your trailer dragging the lights. It runs through all this tubing and it protects the wires. So yeah, these run all the way to the front through this tube. So there's a tube right here on the inside of the trailer and see it comes out right here. Oh, I see, right there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what they put in these wires, but they in there. Oh, here it goes. I don't know if they got some kind of glue or something in there or what. But it makes it hard to break loose. Oh, oh damn, it goes all the way to the front, huh? Yeah, all the way to the front because it's going to connect to the new plug to the truck. Mm -hmm. It comes back on this side. Yeah, you got the white is the ground. The yellow and stuff, it's all gonna come to this side. Start feeding it out. That way we don't have no issue with wires grounding out. You have lights on the back too, that's cool. Those three. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So those will connect to the running lights as well. So when your lights are on at nighttime, those light up to let the people know there's a trailer back here. So we got all the wire out? Yeah, all the wires out now. What's next? So now we'll get this new wiring harness. We're gonna unravel it and then I'll start feeding it through the tubes. And work my way all the way back 
on each side. Oh, so, so you're just going to replace the old wire straight through the tubes kind of? Yeah, so everything's going to be new exactly the way it was ran before. And we're just going to run all the way through each side. So yeah, we'll just actually start running them through the same tube, starting the front where the tongue is. And then we'll just one side at a time and work all the way back. And then we'll start doing the lights after that. Yeah, you're oh, bleeding. I sure am. Oh, shit. When did I get stabbed? I seen blood on the floor and I was like, man, somebody's bleeding. <laughs> it's you. But it's me, bro. <laughs> so yeah, you just start feeding them through the tube. This is the red and brown. It's for the right side of the trailer. You just literally feed it all the way down. Yeah, we'll feed it through. Is it usually pretty easy to feed through? Right yeah, there? like these little things right here will stop it. They're so-called grommets, but yeah, but it's not hard. You know, usually if you could pull the wire out and then you're all right running it back in. So you want to make sure you leave enough in the front so that way when you hook up to your vehicle, you'll have enough slack. So when you turn, it doesn't rip the wire or unplug it. Mm. So, the, you know, about a foot, I would say it's good because you, your bumper's going to be right here. And if you ever have any extra, you kind of can go around the jack of your trailer. But we'll wrap all this up with loom. And that way it's protected. But always try to leave at least a foot after the, after the tongue of the trailer. You don't want to pull your wires all the way through and then it's too short, and then everything's tight, you gotta sit there and fight it back. So that's why it's good to you start up here in the front, and you'll feed them through the tongues on each side. See guys, we are learning a lot today. So you just keep feeding the wire down? Yeah, just a little bit at a time, each tube. It's like a little, probably a two foot section of a tube right here. This is like eight inches, six inches. But you wanna just make sure that you're not pinching your wires and it's not tangled up, and you know, there's no restriction or anything, you know what I mean? You wanna make sure that everything is just ran nicely. That way you won't have no issues in the long run. So the wires are a little bit long, which is good. And then when, after you feed them through, where you're gonna have lights at, I'll pull extra, you know, extra, so we'll be able to wire them in. And you don't wire the back into the last, but you wanna have extra right here, you know, some slack so you can wire this one in. We're gonna move this wire from top to on bottom. And then once you get them all wired in and mounted, we'll pull the slack out of the, out of the wires. You don't wanna start up in the back and then you need slack in the front and you won't be able to tie your wires in. So that's a good, a good note because all these tailor kits are gonna come with an excessive amount of wire. So you always wanna keep some yeah. extra. Just, just for now. And then once we wire it, I'll pull the wire back through and I'll take all the slack out of everything. Oh, and that's why you wire these last. So yeah. So you start, you know, you pull the wires out and then you start in the front, feed your wires back. And then when you start wiring, you start from the front, you work your way back. So as you go, you can pull the slack out that way. Cause if you start in the back and then you need slack up here, the wires are already tied in and you won't have no slack. So that's gotcha. a good, good note. So the wires are all ran now. We got them to the front, to the back. We left about a foot up front for the plug. And now we're going to start with these side marker lights and we're going to start wiring them in one at a time. So the kit came with two of them, new ones. So I'll probably just use these. What step is this like? Five, six, uh, seven, eight? <laughs> so first step is to unbolt, uh, I'll take everything out the packets. Next step is to unbolt your lights. Third step is to cut the wires off from all the lights. And then the fourth step will be start pulling the wires out. And the fifth step is run all your wires back in. And the sixth step is we're gonna start with the running lights, clearance lights is what they actually call them in the front and we'll start wiring them from the front to the back. So what's the process on wiring in them? So this is the brown. This is gonna be the power. So we'll actually tie in, tie into this one wire with the provided clip. And then the other one actually bolts it right here. And then we'll actually put, put this right here because it, it comes with a new bolt and washer. So, so the brown the, just wires into the brown wire? And yeah, because these are the old ones. They were like this. And then these are the new ones. It's got a single, so we'll just put it right there. Yeah, we got it screwed in, just kind of mocking it up. This brown wire is going to connect to this brown wire with one of these connectors. What it is, is one side's blocked off and one side isn't. So the side that's blocked off, you actually feed this in there like that and it'll stop. And then what you do is you just split these wires open and you'll feed it in there. And then when you push this down, it'll make a connection. So we'll actually... in there like that. You see it goes all the way through. And this one connects like that and but then it stops. And you'll pinch this down right here and then you'll fold this over and it'll keep it together. That's why you don't have just like to cut the wire and do a twisty tie or whatever. Yeah. You can just do it like this. And when we're done we'll zip tie the wires out the way and you won't see them. Once you got the wires in there, like I said this brown wire and this brown wire is going to connect to each other. You get a pair of channel locks or I'll just use these. And you'll actually push down this little piece of metal right here and it's going to connect 
See it go through the wires? Mm -hmm. See, just like that. And it connects both of them and then snap it together and see it's connected. Strip this wire back. Those, are, those running lights too? Yeah, this is the, these are the side mark. They're clearance lights. So you can see what it does is just shows the trailers right here for other people at nighttime. Because if you only had tail lights, they wouldn't really, if it's real dark, they won't be able to see how wide the trailer is. Mm -hmm. What is that you putting on them? This is this isn't the right connector, but this is all I got. But we'll still be able to crimp it, and I'll cut this off, and then I'll be able to wrap it up and just more protect it. So see, now it's connected. Be on there just like that. Oh, you have to tighten it up for the back. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up because we're already done wiring it in. See, this is a power wire, but this light is internally grounded with the stud, and that's what these are for. So as you tighten it, these things are bowled out like a flower, and when you tighten it, they're gonna push down into the middle, and they're gonna create a ground. And the inside of the light has these strips, and they're connected to the stud. So when you tighten these down, like I said, these will dig into the metal, and that creates the ground. So this is just a positive. So it creates the ground for the light. Little side note. Yeah, I'm learning a lot of shit over here. Yeah, these are the tail lights that go in the rear. So one side has a clear lens like this, and that's for the license plate. So this one goes on the driver's side of the trailer, which will be the left. The other light doesn't have it. That's a note. So only one of them has a license yeah, plate. Yeah, only light. one of them, because this is the license plate bracket that it comes with. It's in the fit on here through the studs. Like Damn, so. I spent all day zip tying that license plate up there. Go like that, like that. Fits right in? Yep. And these are where the lights wires go right here. So you got tail light brown, stop, turn, yellow. What you do is you strip them back a little bit and you shove the wires in there and they actually like hold. So yeah, stop, which is turn yellow, tail light brown. It's gonna go into the little push-ins and you push them in and they lock in. And the same thing with this wire right here. This wire is for the lights that go in the back and it's brown on brown because that's a clearance light as well. It's gonna be red. Are you talking about these right Yeah, the three in the center. So that's what this is gonna tie into right here. So we'll tie in this after after we connect the light, we're gonna leave enough under here to where we can tie this back in as well. Pull some back, strip it back, tighten them up. So that way it's nice and clean. Same thing with this one. The yellow and brown, the light with the license plate. Stop turn is yellow, it's gonna go right here. You're gonna stick it in the hole and you're gonna push it in. You can hear it grabbing a hold of it. Let's see, now it's in there. This is the brown tail light. You stick it in the hole, you can hear it. And you just keep on going till it stops and you pull back on it and check it. It's in there. Ready to go? Yep, ready to go. Just like that. You'll put your bracket on, your lights play light bracket. Just like so, the nuts provided. Screw those onto the back. That's pretty much the left side's wired up now, besides the center lights we're about to wire in next. Yeah, we're gonna tighten them up. You can use a socket, but you know, being that this metal and plastic, I like doing it by hand because if you try to go with a, like my electric ratchet, you could do it too hard and then it'll break it out mm -hmm. or it could strip it out. So when we're going back together, I like using hand tools just to make sure that you're not gonna, you know, have a chance of breaking the light or something. Man, yeah, it takes longer, but yeah, you probably could be careful, but to prevent mistakes, I like doing it by hand. This one in. That brown wire right there that's hanging, that's for these back lights? Yeah, it's for these back lights, these, oh, three, okay. these three red lights. So you just wire that wire into? Yeah, I'm gonna wire it into the brown. So now all three wires are wired together? Yep, all three wires wired together. Use this wire tool and you're gonna push down on it. Like now we I got said, lights in the back. Yeah, when we're all done, we'll go back through and we'll tape everything up, make sure everything's secured, nice and zip tied. And, and now we're gonna do it on this side. It's the same concept. 
This is the new light that came with the kit. This is the old one. We can always keep it for us extra in case we ever break one. So literally the exact same process we did on this side, we're going to do on this yep, side. Now we're doing this side. Yep. Wire that in. Yep, we're going to wire this one wire in. Wire this one in. And then we're going to go to the tail light and wire that one in. And then we're going to zip tie everything, clean everything up, making sure the wires are nice and tight. And then we're going to go to the front, tidy that up, and then we'll start checking lights. A few moments later. All right, so we just finished this whole side. Literally the same process we did over there, we did over here. Now we're going to clean up the wires. Instead of just leaving like this, hanging and flopping, mm -hmm. where I connected right here, I put a little electrical tape, and I got some zip ties that I want to zip tie together and just pretty much secure them down really good. I'm going to use this hole right here. Mm. And I'll secure them out the way so they're not just like hanging and something from the road, catch them or rip them out or somebody catch them or kids see them like, oh, what's this? And pull. pull them out. So, and also it's good that it has a little bit of extra because if you ever got to change the light and you're short on wire, you'll have plenty extra. All right, guys. So we got all this cleaned up. As you can tell, it looks good. It looks nice and neat. Running straight through there. The back is hooked up. Everything's looking Real good so far, guys. We're gonna hook the ground wire up underneath out the way. Use this little eyelet that I have. It's nice and tight. Where's the ground wire go? Anywhere to the trailer, so. Oh, you can literally put it anywhere? Yeah, so I'm gonna run it right here underneath. I'm gonna screw into the trailer. I'm gonna screw it in with a cell tapper. <laughs> Always do it without the wire at first, because if it catches, it'll rip it out. Nice and tight. So that's your ground? Yep, that's the ground. So you're pretty much all done then, huh? Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure this is all nice looking. Ya está, guys, that is it, man. We just completed the Universal Trailer Lighting Kit. So guys, you can get this kit at Walmart or eBay. It's around 40 bucks, and for 40 bucks, you can rewire your whole trailer. Yeah, I hope you guys follow the steps pretty easy enough. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and definitely can answer them for you. What about you, bro? How do you feel about the kit and the whole process? Oh, uh, it's pretty straightforward. You know, as long as you follow the instructions, you've got your green and brown for the right, your yellow and brown for the left, and just make sure your wires are secured and everything, and just make sure everything's not hanging and you're good to go. Overall, how long do you think it, this process uh, will take somebody? I think it would take an average person DIY at the garage or at the little house, you know, a good hour, hour and a half, I'd say. What would you rate yeah. it on a scale of one to 10 as far as how hard it is? A person that doesn't have any experience, uh, I'd say eight. <laughs> uh, yeah, five, it's not, it's not really hard, you know? I'm pretty sure with this video, it, it make it pretty easy. Oh, yeah, we went course. step by of step. Course. Um, and for the product, so this Universal Trailer Lighting Kit, PM Peterson, I think that's the brand that we picked up from Walmart. For like, like I said, it was like 40 bucks for this. How do you feel about the, the, this whole kit? What's your whole review on it? Oh, uh, it, it's good. I, I recommend it. You know, it's, it seems, seems legit, seems pretty good. So I think it, it's, it'll, it'll work good for what it is. Guys, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Shout out to my boy Lynch Out of Works, my boy Pete for hooking this trailer up for us and getting it right, man. Looks real good. Now it's functional, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and comment, man. Stay tuned for more videos because pretty soon we're going to do another video with my boy Pete out here at his shop. We'll see you guys later. Ya está.